This is Mission Control Houston. The Expedition 33 crew on board the International Space Station has been focused on science and maintenance as they look forward to an upcoming undocking of a European cargo ship after the decision was made that the uh, space station did not need to dodge any space debris. Ground teams here in the International Space Station control room in Houston have been tracking a piece of Russian Cosmos satellite that was thought it would to pass too close to the station on Thursday morning, as well as a piece of exploded Indian rocket body that was on course to pass too close on Friday morning. They had been planning for a debris avoidance maneuver. But additional tracking data received Wednesday and on into Thursday morning gave confidence that neither of those objects presented a concern for a conjunction, and hence no maneuver was conducted. Russian teams are planning for another attempt to undock the European Automated Transfer Vehicle, which is located at the aft end of the International Space Station. Mission managers are meeting to decide when they would like to make another attempt to undock the ATV. The earliest opportunity is Friday afternoon. The Tuesday undocking attempt was aborted just minutes before the undocking when a command to the hooks to open in the ATV did not go through. Uh, if a decision is made to try to undock on Friday afternoon, that undocking would happen at 4.46 p.m. Houston time, with NASA TV coverage of the event to begin at 4.30. On Thursday morning, Station Commander Sonny Williams worked on human life sciences investigations, taking measurements for the VO2 max experiment, which is a gauge of an astronaut's maximum oxygen uptake on orbit, combined with uh, the European investigation known as Thermolab, which is studying changes in a body's core temperature before, during, and after exercise as a way to measure adaptation to the space environment. Flight engineer Yuri Malenchenko devoted the early portion of his day to uh, cleaning ventilation system components in the Zvezda module, while Aki Hoshide did maintenance on air sampling equipment in Kibo and on the advanced resistive exercise device in the station's Node 3. In the afternoon, Malenchenko moved on to uh, transfers into and out of the uh, Russian Progress vehicle, while Williams and Hoshide spent time training for their rendezvous and capture of the Dragon spacecraft, the commercial cargo vehicle that's targeted to launch to the space station on October the 7th and arrive on October the 10th. They conducted uh, computer-based training of how they will use the station's robotic arm to uh, grapple the Dragon spacecraft when it nears the station and then use the arm to attach it to the International Space Station's uh, node number two. Crew members are also looking ahead to a planned routine emergency evacuation drill to take place on Friday morning before they would be monitoring a potential undocking of the ATV late on Friday afternoon.